Hello, my fellow Cancerians, it's Prado G, and I'm here with a general and collective reading for our sign. Thank you so much if you are new here for tuning in and tapping. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, what's really, really good? I love you so much, and thank you so much for the support. All of my subscribers, you guys are the reason why this channel thrives in the way that it does. And I really do love you so much for all of the energy that you decide to direct towards this channel. And I'm sending you so much love, so much appreciation, so much gratitude for you to take with you throughout your life journey, throughout your experience. You are destined for greatness and you deserve love and gratitude and appreciation because you are an aspect of this world. You're, you are contributing to this world in some way, shape, or form. And I appreciate you for that. Thank you for being here. All right, y'all. Y'all already know uh, cancer season is right around the corner. So literally, we prepping. We getting ready. We getting prepared. Hopefully, y'all are ready to turn up and have a hot boy, hot girl summer <laughs> because I definitely am. We definitely going to keep it lit, keep it very spicy. But um, y'all, if your birthday is between June 21st and July 21st, you are the amazing, emotionally bonding, intuitive, exclusive, nurturing sign of cancers. And I welcome you here. Thank you for being here. We're going to jump into the reading, starting off with the significant number and the important chakra. Number significant number. Okay, whoa. We rolling. Rolling, rolling on the river. Oh, oh, rest in peace to Tina Turner, too. I just found out that news. Okay, y'all, we got 14, the number 14. Shout out to all of my 14-year-olds if you're watching this. Oh, my God, youngin, hello. Um, <laughs> 14 and 41-year-olds, what's really good? All of my July 5th babies and my July 14th babies, hey, what's really popping? So... The energy that I'm picking up so far, Cancer, is that there is importance around your heart chakra right now. There is a major importance for you to love yourself through the challenges, through the changes that are taking place in your life right now, because I do feel a bunch of changes, a bunch of challenges. Um, some things need to be released, some things that you might have been holding on near and dear to, um, but it hasn't been really serving your heart. This is this this is the opportunity and time for you to release anything that you've been holding in your heart or anything that has been blocking your heart from flourishing and exuding that that beautiful energy that is inside of you anything that's blocking you from loving your life loving yourself at this time i feel like you are in this place of releasing or needing to release this conflicting energy Spirit is giving us the green light to go green, right? Being in nature at this time could be very important. I feel like definitely grounding yourself in nature and really connecting with Mother Earth at this time, Cancer, is going to help heal the heart center because I do feel major challenges around the heart. And I've actually been going through some myself where I just been feeling very detached at times and not feeling like I'm able to express love or even receive love, the type of love that I'm really looking for. So I can attest to that. I don't know if y'all are going through the same thing as me right now, but yeah, that's the vibe I'm picking up on with this energy. But ultimately, as you release and as you allow yourself to change cancer, your heart will continue to emanate positive vibes and is going to bring you more lovely situations and circumstances. So the first card that we got today from the money and the law of attraction cancer is I am the attractor of my every experience. Now that's a hard pill to swallow, period. A lot of us don't believe that we are attracting the experiences that we are experiencing or a lot of us don't understand how is it that we are doing it right like how why would i attract a situation that i don't like or why would i attract this type of person or this type of heartbreak right but spiritually on a very spiritual level beyond just our physical limitations and our just our limited perspective as humans you realize that we are 
manifestors we are all co-creators of our life experience so it's very important that you realize that you are attracting your experiences based on the things that you're thinking and how you are looking at life right so yeah let's get into what this card is saying you are meant to live an expansive exhilarating good feeling experience okay you are meant to live an expansive, exhilarating, good feeling experience. I just want to soak in that for a minute, Cancer. You are meant to live an expansive, exhilarating, good feeling experience. Even if you haven't, if you haven't been so expansive lately or opening your horizons, if you've been feeling really restricted or limited, this is spirit letting you know that you this is what you were meant for. You were meant to live a life of expansion. You are not supposed to just stay limited. You are supposed to grow. You are supposed to be excited and eager for what's to come and to feel good as much as you possibly can. This card also says it was your plan when you made the decision to become focused in your physical body in this time space reality. You were born knowing that you are a powerful being, that you are good, that you are the creator of your experience, and that the law of attraction is the basis of the universe. And you knew it would serve you well. And so it has. Right? So, of course, when we're born... We have different perspectives of ourselves and we focus differently. But as we live life and as we grow and as we learn, a lot of things start to shift and start to change. But spirit is saying that you are the attractor. You are the attractor of your every experience. So be very mindful as you are experiencing what it is that you're experiencing, the type of vibes that you are giving off, right? Because the law of attraction is real. You attract based on what it is that you think right and how you feel it's really more so about you know how you feel but your thoughts affect how you feel so let's get into the basis of this reading for my lovely cancerians let's get into our the basis of our reading y'all but yeah i know a lot of us feel like we were brought here to suffer or we have to suffer but we don't we really don't and the only you will continue to suffer if you don't take control or gain control over your internal world, over your mind, right? Some of us, I feel like we might just be feeling, I'm getting this vibe of feeling like you don't deserve love or that love is too challenging or love brings a lot of conflict or trouble. But if that's the view that you're looking at, you know, you need to heal those you need to heal those thinking patterns, Cancer. We're, we're in this together, okay? We're in this together. All right, let's see. What's the basis of this reading going to be for the lovely sign of Cancer? Yeah, it's time to release any thoughts, though, that are blocking you from receiving the love that you deserve from receiving the life that you deserve to live. We got love showing up in reverse. Yep, see? So something happened in the past, Cancer, where you stopped loving or you stopped receiving love. You stopped being open to love. You stopped emanating love. You found it very hard to love. And I feel that that's because you started looking at things from a more negative perspective here. Spirit is saying, I com this card is saying, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, right? So right now, Spirit really wants you to look at the past in a more lovely way. Yeah, it might be really hard to do that, but it's important that you see what happened in the past. Like, what was it that you were doing that was blocking love from coming in? It was you maybe focusing on your flaws or focusing on the flaws of others, maybe... You just being afraid to love because you uh, got hurt in the past due to loving people. But spirit is saying like, look, in order for you to really love life and love yourself, then you got to see the good in you. You got to see the good in life or else you're not going to love it, period. But you are a lovely being. You really are. And there's so much good to come out of you. There's so much good that you bring to this world. And it's time for you to open up to love again.
right? I feel like this is about love lost. Like either you lost a loved one or you just lost your ability to like give love. Like it's just something here with that energy, y'all. Y'all tell me what that is what that is about like what is it that you're having a hard time loving cancer at this time is it you is it other people what is it let's see what's the basis of this read for us we got self-esteem yeah i feel like it's you i feel like it's you cancer and this is something i've been struggling with too so i'm gonna you know you're not alone here having a hard time loving myself because of certain conflicts that i might have brought upon myself or just I just didn't resolve them you know what I'm saying so I feel like this is all about you realizing how gifted of a soul you are cancer building back up your self-esteem by looking at yourself differently right hyping yourself up pumping yourself up with those positive thoughts knowing that you deserve love knowing that you are a lovely being and that you are making the conscious choice right here right now to exude more love into this world not only for you but for others too because I feel like the self-esteem energy is about you being an example for others here like when you start to love yourself and you start to love other people not only is your self-esteem going to go up but you help other people boost their self-esteem and i feel like that's something that you've been called to do this is where you're moving towards in the future cancer um moving into greater levels of self-esteem you are using your gifts to help benefit others at this time. There's something that you have, Cancer, some sort of gift, some sort of skill that uh, Spirit is asking for you to share, to tap into. Like, don't be afraid to share this gift with others. I know right now you might have a low self-esteem or you might think others are going to laugh at you or they just not going to accept your gifts. And that's okay. You don't got to force it onto anybody, but... Yeah, there's definitely a need for you to love yourself and see the good in you, Cancer. Regardless of who didn't love you in the past or who left you. I love you, period. I love you. I really do. Okay, let's get into this. What is this love about? This, this blockage of love. Why is this blockage of love here? in this read for cancers what is this blockage of love about spirit thank you so much divine spirit thank you god for this moment in time clear accurate messages what is this about wow okay so we got the goddess of the moon and we got the man holding the coin so really where this love blockage is coming from is you focusing about focusing more on the material things and money and how you look like it's just giving superficial vibes here the goddess of the moon spirit is asking you to tap into your emotions and your intuition some of you are very intuitive beings very intuitive psychics maybe even um but i feel that there's something about you not acknowledging your emotions or just suppressing your emotions in some way shape or form you not realizing the importance of your emotions. The man holding a coin, though, um, definitely could represent a man in your life, too, here that wants to help bring you more value, that wants to invest in you. But you have to trust. And also, you should be spending, you should be pouring some love into this person, is what I'm feeling. Love yourself beyond just how much money you have or how much money a person has or how a person looks you know what i'm saying love goes beyond that love is not surface level it's so deep it's not superficial right love goes beyond that now i get it you might have a love for money or you might have a love for beauty and attraction and things of that nature but true love goes beyond that you know you're going to hit a dead end eventually if all you're thinking about is the love of money or the love of looks right how a person looks. Sometimes the most lovely people that want to come into your life and really bring the most value in your life are, aren't are the most attractive necessarily. You know what I mean? Like they might not be your type is what I'm trying to say. Um, the type of, you know, ideal look that you look for. 
in a relationship or a person but i feel like that idea and that that mindset in itself is automatically going to kind of like bring more superficial type energies where it's like you're not going to really receive the type of love that you're looking for from a person if all you're thinking about is how much money they have or how they look physically so we got the thinking woman showing up here oh self-esteem yes i see you building your mind back strong again cancer you're 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 not a weak-minded person by any means period and i feel like you got to realize that the thoughts that you allow to run through your mind is what's going to have your boost your self-esteem or take it down so yeah this thinking woman though could be somebody that's coming into your life to help help you realize something about yourself too like listen you're smarter than what it is that you know somebody that's coming in to grant you with some information or some sort of knowledge that's going to help boost your self-esteem and then you're going to be able to spread this to others this knowledge that you're gaining cancer we got community showing up in reverse now Underneath self-esteem, I do feel like you could be dealing with a community of people who have a very low self-esteem. Moving forward in the future, and I feel like this is part of your purpose. This is why the gift that you have at this time, you have the gift of knowledge and wisdom to help build communities, to help strengthen communities. Yeah, because here with this community, I do feel like people could be at odds with themselves or with others. And it's like using, it's about using your beautiful mind, your infinite wisdom, your ideas to help bring the community back together in some way, shape or form. This is what I see you doing, Cancer, moving forward. But however, some of y'all could be stepping away from a certain community of people because they just don't appreciate your gifts. So I, I see both of this. I see both of these energies here, Cancer, where it's like you're probably a little bit disconnected from the community at this time because of self-esteem issues. But look, we got happy family showing up at the bottom of the deck. I love that vibe. Yes. So yeah, you and your family, I feel like you're building a new connect, a deeper connection with your family, especially if y'all have been at odds, but there's a need for you to, you know, encourage others to love themselves and to be an example of that. Because first of all, you got to be an example of that. If you really want your energy to be potent enough to rub off on others' cancer, then yeah, that's what's going to be required here. But look... I do see a connection between a man and a woman here, too, as well, where the man brings the money and the woman brings the ideas and the wisdom on how to use the money and to invest it. So, yeah, this could be your life right now, too, where you're dealing with a man, a masculine figure in your life who brings the bread. They bring the money and you got the ideas and y'all are building a community or you're doing something for the community which is going to help boost your self-esteem. I feel like some of y'all are definitely making plans to um, do some sort of community workshop or event. But yeah, we're going to get deeper into this reading with the tarot, the angels, the guardian angels. Let's see what the guardian angels have to say right now, Cancerians. But you're so smart. I'm, I'm telling you, like, you got so much wisdom inside of you. And I feel like it, it gives you a lot of confidence. It's like you're wise enough to know the power of your mind. Even when other people in your community aren't using theirs, you got your head on strong. First card to come out is the king of earth. Yup. The king of earth in reverse could speak to somebody who is very... Um, materialistic ungrounded really not connected to nature or the nature of things like i feel like this could be somebody who you were dealing with in the past it could have been earth sign capricorn 
Taurus or a Virgo, but someone who just have more of a love for money and material things more than they actually cared about, you know, love. I'm also picking up an energy here, Cancer, that you might have been a boss here and something about your finances, like either you, di you didn't prosper or you fumbled the ball financially, like going through some sort of financial hardships, which is kind of making it hard for you to love yourself. But Spirit is saying, um, you know, realize that you are prosperous beyond just the finances, beyond the money. And when you really value yourself and value your life on a deeper level than just like how you look to the outside world when it comes to like your finances or how you dress, then you'll start to bring in more opportunities for success and your money is going to start to go back up again. But like, there's a blockage of love here with this King of Earth showing up in reverse. There's a lack of love for something. Um, yeah, we're going to get more into this. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to clarify that later. But let's see. What is this man holding a coin about? I feel like some of you could have been dealing with a person. Uh, a person who just really didn't provide for you in the way that you wanted them to, especially in terms of love. And intuitive, like you knew deep down intuitively that this person wasn't for you, but you decided to still stick around with them just because of their money or something like that but yeah we got the strength card showing up yeah spirit is saying oh my god you are stronger than what it is that you know you need to have the courage to uh address your fears with compassion right because there's something about you there's something about you wanting to give up but I feel like you you didn't give up. You're not giving up because you're too strong for that. You're going through a, a major, a significant phase in your life at this time, or you recently went through a, a significant phase in your life, Cancer, that made you much stronger, that made you more courageous. And I feel like it's because you handled the situation with grace. Be very compassionate towards yourself and be compassionate to the people that are investing in, in you, especially um, especially a person that is building you up, helping build you up. What else we got here for the lovely Cancerians? I do see a bounce back though. That's what I'm hearing. Or just being able to move forward. We got the Empress. Oh, my God. 11 plus 3 equals 14, which is a significant number. I love how these two came together. So, Spirit is like, at this time, Cancer, you, you are abundant. There's nothing that you're lacking. The Empress lacks nothing, okay? It's just the idea sometimes that you don't have what it takes. But at this time, I feel like you are definitely needing to take action on what it is that you know and to abundantly express your wisdom to the world. Someone could uh, be giving birth here with the Empress or just had a baby. A new baby could have been um, added to your family too. Your strength comes from having the willingness to create, to, to consistently take action, right? And create what it is that you're looking to create at this time. I feel like you're building your own self-esteem up too here through your creations. Whatever it is that you're working on or creating cancer is building your self-esteem. And I see that you're taking more and more action with it because you're becoming more confident in what it is that you're doing.
You are abundant. You must know that. And you have so many gifts, so many talents, so many skills. You are very impressive to others watching too. That's what I feel with this empress. Other people look at you and they're impressed. This king of earth though, is really standing out to me. I feel like... Spirit doesn't want you to exploit your gifts, right? It's like if you're doing something that you love doing, do it because you really love doing it. And remember the love aspect of it. Don't allow a dollar sign to shift that or to change that. We got the star card showing up. Wow. In reverse. So Aquarius energy showing up here. Leo Aquarius energy showing up here. Some of you could be dealing with Leos or Aquariuses. But where it is that you're going, Cancer, there's a need for you to really trust, right? Have faith that you can actually build a strong community of people and for you to be inspired because the community needs your inspiration, right? The star card is definitely <clears throat> showing me that there's something about you being in the spotlight or you being an example of faith and inspiration for others that don't have it, that might be struggling with it. And it's like you're pouring into them. And as you pour into them, you are pouring back into yourself. So a lot of people at this time, I feel like that you could be dealing with are going through some dark things. They're going through dark things and you could even be going through some dark things too at this time. And Spirit just wants you to know that the light lives within. The light is within. And your connection to Source and the Cosmos doesn't go away even when you not realizing it like the stars still exist even when the sun is out we just don't see it right and the only time that we can really see the stars from afar is when we're going through dark periods in our life so i feel that even if you are experiencing a dark time or you go through some sort of like experience where you fall out with people Spirit needs you to have faith in the ability to bounce back and to continue to move forward. So it's three major arcana cards that came up here in this reading, Cancer. The strength card, the empress card, and the star card. I feel like you're destined for greatness. There's something that you have the ability to do that others don't have the ability to do. Spirit has given you this assignment, particularly because Spirit knows that you are strong enough to do this, to acquire the money that you are looking for, the lifestyle that you are looking for, for you to be able to use those resources to invest in your creations, to take action in a way that you give, it's like bringing new life into this world. That's what I'm hearing. It's like you're bringing new life into this world, Cancer. So be very wise with the action that you are taking at this time. And have faith as you move forward. Yeah, definitely see you bossing up. This is something about you being a boss. And don't be afraid to be in the spotlight because, you know, the star is just like a celebrity. Like the stars, we call celebrity stars, right? And I feel some of you could be stepping into this energy where it's like you are a celebrity. Either you're a celebrity or you are an example for others that, that are trying to reach the heights that you have reached. Or you're going to be at this level, this height, and spirit is going to need you to have faith that you will not fall as long as you stay in alignment with the divine, right? And as long as you stay inspired to keep doing what it is that you're doing, whatever it is, whatever creations that you are embarking on at this time, Cancer. I want to know what it is for some of y'all. Me personally, I know what it is for me. I'm doing what I'm doing right now. And at times I question it, like, am I good enough for this? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all have these moments where we kind of lose faith in ourselves. So, yeah, one more card. No, I don't want to do this deck. Sorry. I'm going to do an affirmative, uh, affirmative card. For us cancers, and I'm gonna close out this reading. Let's see what's the affirmator here for the lovely Cancerians watching. Oh, 
Also, some of you could have a mother that's an air sign or just a really wise mother that's here to help you, that wants to help you build and create or take action. And I feel like you are, something about you being her golden child or her divine child. Not to ever make you feel like, you know, you if you got other siblings or anything, because you're not better than them, but it's something about your connection with your mom that's different. Than the connection that, uh, you know, the other siblings might have with her. Yes, please, Cancer. Have faith in your ability. And your abilities to shine. In the darkest of times, we got positive thinking. Yep. Positive thinking, follow your heart, Cancer. There's a need for you to maintain positivity because the more, don't forget, you are the attractor of every experience that you're experiencing. So if your mind is not positive, then you're attracting negative situations and circumstances. And who wants that? Who wants that? No one, like you deserve better than that. You gotta plant those positive seeds in your mind, Cancerian, and allow and tend to them. Right? Don't just think one positive thought today and then go back to thinking negative. It's like you got to keep it going. You got to keep it going. Even when you feel a little bit discouraged or when you feel hopeless, know that hope is still there and spirit is there to help guide you throughout this time. Try not to be too desperate to make things work. Allow things to flow. And if you have been feeling uninspired, definitely reach out to your community of people to help get some ideas going. Get some ideas going. But this is what I got for you, lovely Cancerians. Definitely don't forget the power of positive thinking. And in the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy seeds by the handful if I want. And I take a lawnmower to that jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. Yes. So yeah, it's just doing that internal work to maintain that high frequency in your life cancerians because you are destined for greatness and this is what i have for you if you did resonate please don't hesitate to click that thumbs up comment below in the comment section if you want to connect with me and just express some gratitude amongst one another i'm always here for that and i love that and if you did vibe subscribe so that you can be tuned in for the next cancerian reading that's coming i love you all so much peace love and prosperity